to understand. He was betrayed by a friend, arrested and falsely sentenced to death. Jesus could have avoided the cross, called down fire from heaven, or summoned legions of angels to rescue him, to save him. But Jesus was not interested in saving himself. He was all about saving you. Every detail of this torturous path to the cross was part of God's plan to bring you to him. We're all broken. We've all messed up and have all made wrong choices. And no one had to teach us as a baby about anger and selfishness. We just came out that way, sort of a sin covering. But on the cross, with his blood he shed, the Bible says Jesus blotted out our record of sin, nailing it to his cross. The blood of Jesus washes away our sin covering. And his blood is our ticket. Our ticket to enter through a new door, a forever relationship door with God. So what do we do with this great news? The Bible says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. You see, it's not enough to believe in Jesus with just your head. You must believe with your heart. Now. There's just one person alone at the foot of the cross. It is you. What will you say to Jesus? Say, thank you, Jesus, for shedding your blood for me. I'm giving you my heart today, Jesus. I do believe you died for me and that you were raised from the dead for me. Please give me a new heart and a new life right now. Jason here, gonna do a short video today. Hope you find it to be a blessing. Pay attention to the gospel message at the beginning of this uh, video, Get Saved by the Blood of Jesus Christ. We're a group of Bible-believing Christians rightly dividing the word of truth, and we're in the end times. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe, thumbs up. I'm going to take a look at today at sort of the danger of false prophets, the danger of, of listening to a lot of YouTube people and just randomly watching videos. I think it's it's pretty bad. Second Peter chapter 2, verse 1, But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that, that bought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. Verse 2, And many shall follow their pernicious ways, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. Verse 3, And through covetousness shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you. That's interesting, make merchandise of you. Whose judgment now for a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. So we have two classes of people discussed here. We have the false prophets and the false teachers. And, you know, I see many of those out on YouTube to, talking about wrong salvation doctrine. It's why it's so important to get your doctrine straight by rightly dividing the word of truth and realizing that we're in the church age and, this, and it's a free gift of salvation by the blood of Jesus Christ. It's not water baptism. It's not any other way. And there will be people that will try to tell you that you're wrong. And they will try to sneak in false doctrine and false teachers and and. They're, they're in male and female variety. You can find them in any, in any, any form. And this false, you know, these false teachings are dangerous. And you know, Peter is making a comparison between the false prophets that trouble the people at this time you know, in Israel or in the Old Testament and versus ta false teachers that would trouble the church. There's a lot of problems in our time, just like back then, where where you, they come in and they're sheeps with and they're and, and they act like they're sheeps. They come in with flatteries and a great tongue, like the antichrist will do. They have that spirit of antichrist. These these false teachers and prophets, but they will they will they will trick you. They will take your salvation. They will take your crowns from you. They will teach you the Babylonian religion. They'll teach you idolatry. They'll teach you fornication and and other things that's mixed in with their pagan beliefs or their wrong doctrine, just simply wrong doctrine. And so watching YouTube all the time from channel to channel, I would really recommend you don't do that. I would, I would recommend you, you find somebody who believes in, a, that's a Bible believer, KJV only, that believes in dispensationalism, and then listen to their message to see if it lines up with Paul's doctrine. And you should test them. You know, if you, if you, you as they say the message, you should read the verses to make sure that they are not a false teacher and you're not getting bad information. 
that the Lord would not want you to have. And, and, and discernment of the Spirit is important with them. You know, you if you're saved, you have the Holy Spirit in you, you can discern right from wrong. But you also can't just be one of those that get addicted to YouTube or addicted to listening to everybody. So I, I just tell you to guard yourself because it's more serious than you think. A lot of people think it's not a big deal, but it, but it is. There are false teachers who, who brought in damnable heresies unto Bible revisions throughout, the, throughout this 19th, 20th, and 21st century. And they've changed the word of God. And these people on YouTube are using these, these, these doctrines that are, have been changed. And so they're denying the Lord that bought them. And Jesus Christ bought us with a price. He died on a cross. He, and those, there are people that will teach you to reject his payment, to reject the salvation message. And those people will come in and they'll sound, they'll sound appealing. They may sound better than even me because they're good at it. They're good at deceiving. They're wolves. And they're probably working for the dark side. You know, he paid the price for everyone who comes, not just in a certain elect like the Calvinists would have you believe. He came so the poor the lost, the sinners, could find a way home to him. Amen and amen and amen. Proverbs fourteen twelve says, There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Jesus said, Broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in. Matthew seven thirteen. There are many different ways to, to fall short of salvation. There's many ways to take the wrong path. There's many liars and people deceiving many out online and out in, in, in the world. Matthew 20, 24, 5, For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Man is, man is waxing colder and colder. You know, political correctness and lies being portrayed as truth and truth being portrayed as lies in today's world. We see it. We live in it. And the churches, at best, are asleep. If they are saved at all, many aren't. I'd say 98% of the churches, maybe more, are giving wrong doctrine or are completely asleep and dead. Be aware of where you are and where you're going and don't walk with them. Don't sin with them and, and, and your, your walk. Connect to the Lord. Connect in prayer and reading the KJV Bible. And God will lead your path. God bless. Have a great day.